In this video, we are going to look at uh, how do we lock users uh, on a specific time period. Uh, so now SAP has given a report which is RSUSR underscore lock underscore users which can automate the locking process. Okay. So we execute this report. So this is similar to uh, user inactivity report which is uh, in the SUIM. Uh, so here you can basically <coughs> restrict uh, by users, number of type of users or uh, user group, security policy, number of log on date, or password. Okay. You want to also make sure uh, you want to select which is a valid users or invalid users and only locked users. Okay. Uh, and if you want to restrict by user types, you can also restrict. Uh, <coughs> the last option here is basically if you want to run in a test mode, lock users only. If you want to just lock users, if you want to just unlock users, right? Uh, set users validity period. Okay. Set users validity period yesterday or today. Okay. So um, the idea here is uh, you want to create some variants. For example, let's say you want to only lock users, right? Uh, you just make sure you just click like that. And if you want to just uh, lock users for only certain particular group, drop down the group here. <coughs> let's say you want to lock users super, okay? Uh, so you can have a policy for locking uh, end users on a specific time period, uh, and then also uh, super users on a specific time period, right? Or functional users, right? You can just create like that. And then what you need to do is uh, say you want only valid users, okay? Only without locks. Let's say you don't want to do uh, service IDs, or, or you want only look for dialog IDs. Okay? So you just want lock users. Then you create a variant, save this, say lock super. Okay. So once you do that, you can save that. Now you have Create a variant. So this, so like that, you can create variants for different user groups or different types, and then you can basically run it every day or every week uh, based on your requirement. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Click on the link below to download step-by-step -step 